All right, so now I'm going to show you how to read the depth chart. Again, I'm using 1995 as an example. So the first question is, in December, what depth did the cold water 14 degrees Celsius rise off the coast of Peru? Again, using our depth chart. So first off, I need to find this top one. And what I'm looking for is this 14 degree line. Now here's where it gets a little confusing. Now you're not looking at a drone view of the ocean. It's like you're going in the ocean. This is the bottom of the ocean. This is the top of the ocean. Peru is here and Australia is over here. So this is the bottom of the ocean. If the trade winds are pushing warm water away, it will cause cool water to pull upward. And I'll show you a video of upwelling to help better explain this. The key here is looking at the 200. This totally ignore. So again, this has to do with color. Totally ignore that. If it helps to drop a ruler right across here, drop a ruler right across here, what it's asking is how high did this 14 degree line get up to? So if I'm looking at here and here, this is zero, that's 100, this one over here is 100, that's 50 right there, because 50 over here, that's 75 here, that's 75 right there. So how high up did this 14 degree line go? Well, it hit 75 because that's zero, 25, 50, 75, 100. Really what you're looking for is, did it get above 200 meters, which is right here off the coast of Peru. Again, you got to imagine Peru is on this side. So don't get mixed up. Like some people are like, oh, no, no, it's under 200. But you're looking at the wrong line here. So this is a different line here. So this is like 13 degrees. Again, I'm looking at the 14 degree line getting up to 75 meters. So that's what I would come to. I would come and I would put 75 meters. Does it look like upwelling is occurring? Basically, it's asking, did that 14 degree Celsius line reach 0 to 200? So did it get between 0 and 200 meters right here? Yes, it's well above 200 meters. What latitude did the warm water 24 degrees Celsius extend to? Now, this one you're going to use a depth chart. It gets a little weird here because you're going to have to kind of think about 24 degrees Celsius water again. Looking at it sideways, so here's 28. Now you got to find 24. So these count by one. So that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So here's the 24. So if I'm looking, again, this would be the surface of the ocean. Way up here is the surface, and then this is like underneath the ocean. The 24 degree lines gets up to right here. So you have to figure out the latitude. So that's 100 west. That would be 110 west, 120 west, 130 west. That's 140 west. So I would say that's 135 west. Don't just go for the bolded lines. You have to make sure that it's the 24 degree line. So coming over here, I would say that the 24 degree line, again, using the depth chart, it extended to 135 degrees west. Again, that little degree symbol, make sure you're using the Alt-0176 key. Now, are the trade winds moving normally? So if I look here, is upwelling occurring? Did it get up between 0 to 200 meters? Did it extend upwards? Yes, so upwelling is occurring. What about on the sea surface temperature? Did that cold water appear off the coast of Peru? So is it under 24 degrees Celsius? Yes, that means that upwelling is occurring. So I could say that, yeah, the trade winds are moving normally. Okay. Trade winds are moving normally because water is being pushed away from Peru. Upwelling is occurring. Will there be an El Nino the following year? No. How come? Because everything's moving normally. The trade winds are moving just fine. So explain whether or not it will. Trade winds are moving normally. They're pushing water away from the coast of Peru. Now, if one of these says no, so if this answer is no, the water is above 24 degrees Celsius, so it's 24 or above. That means that the trade winds are not moving normally. And again, you only need one of these things to say a no. So again, if any one of these things says a no, then that means the trade winds are not moving normally, and that means that the next year will be an El Nino year. So you don't have to have both. So long as one or the other gives you a no, that means the next year, like I said, you have to say is likely to be an El Nino year. Now, if one of them says no, but the other one says yes, it's probably going to be a weak El Nino. If you have two yeses, you're probably looking at a medium 
to strong El Nino year.